guys. All right, guys. So we're here to check out Spirit Box. They have a new video, new song called Holy Roller. That's what we're here to check out. And the last time we did this, Ben, on the channel, because this is the second video from Spirit Box that we're checking on the channel. The last time was a Patreon request. And I remember that I, I can't I remember if you liked it or not. I think you liked it more than I did, but I was a little bit critical about it. There was a, a few things about the way the song was constructed, how they used the vocals. There was a few things that I, I wasn't 100% sold on it. But, but I'm all about giving people a second chance, a second chance, another opportunity. All right. Prove me wrong. Maybe that was just that song that that patron asked us to check out. Maybe that was not a really good song to get our feet wet. You know, let's not go back to Ghost Love Score from Nightwish. We didn't yeah. like it the first time around. Uh, now we love that song and we love the band. So Because our tastes has changed. Evolved. Yeah. Has evolved. So I figure, uh, you know, we cannot judge a book on its cover and you cannot judge a band on one song only. So new song, new video, I figure... Uh, they deserve us to give it, give it another try, give it another kick at the can, if you will. All right, at least me, because I think you liked the previous one, if I remember correctly, more than I did. I, I was a little bit iffy about a few things. So, on that note, are you ready for Spirit Box Holy Roller, not yeah. Holy Diver, but Holy Roller? Um, you ready? Yeah. Are you gonna say something about Holy Diver? I was gonna say Holy Diver. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Holy Roller. All right. Let me put this on. Let's check this out. you to go first on this one so oh. what do you think of this track oh the holy shit i got for for it was pr pretty short song yeah under the three minute mark. under the three minute mark i i wish it was a a, a little bit 
the the ending that I wish was a little bit extended. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 I kind of wish dun, it hit dun. that three minute mark. Yeah, I wish it went. I think it went twice, if I'm not mistaken. I wish it went like three or four times, and maybe actually continue going and then just kind of fading it away. I, it 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 needed to be a little. It, it felt a little bit Quaidus interruptus at the end. It, it it in my opinion should have gone a little bit. But I'm being picky because oh. this is a great track. The the whole like um, like uh, synthesizer not synthesizer but like the the more techno electronic sound techno electronic sound. I was a little bit, you know, kind of. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I, I will tell you. All right, because I have something to say about that, but I want to hear what you... I, I was I was kind of like okay. I can, I can, I can... You can live with I it. I can live with this. I can roll with this, you know? Uh, and then it, it hits you with that amazing... Her, her harsh fo- Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hits you with that heavy, heavy guitar. Hits you with the... Uh, it's just... A, absolutely... After that part, it, it just kicks... It just kicks my shorts off. Okay, so let me see something. Since we're talking about that electronic and almost industrial uh, techno side of, of the track, that... I, I, I liked it. Uh, I, I honestly, I, I actually liked the vibe that it gave to the yeah. song because to me it went well with the with the overall feel that the track has. The track has the, this this very loose, uh, how can I put it? This this loose soundscape. It's not a song that from the moment it starts you kind of say, okay, this is how this is gonna go. This is what I, my expectations are as far as the sound is concerned as the track progresses. This is a track that feels very experimental. They're trying like different things yeah. with the song. So from that perspective, that piece there fit in the way the song is put together perfectly. The thing that I wasn't a huge fan of it, or perhaps, uh, maybe not a huge fan is not the right way of saying it. The thing that kind of took me back a little bit is that listening to that, it reminded me of Prodigy. It reminded me of Firestarter. You, you never heard Prodigy in your life. Uh, and you definitely never heard Firestarter. But if I play that song for you, you'll, you'll, you'll see some... Uh, it's not exactly the same. I'm not saying like they they they, they sampled yeah. that song and they put it into theirs. But if you listen to Firestarter by Prodigy, s- some of that of that element and how it was used and like I said, it, it's not a copy. It's not like one sounds exactly like the other. But it's just how it was used. How it was used within the track and a little bit of the fingerprint, the the texture that that sound has is in Prodigy and the song Firestarter. So if you listen to Firestarter, how that song is put together from a structural, not from the sound, because that song is, is sound-wise has nothing to do with this. But if you, if, you, if you listen to that track and you look at the structure of how that track is put together and you look at this track and how this track is put together and then you see how they use that portion and how Prodigy uses that same style of approach, it's, it's almost, like I said, not the sound, the way it's used, almost the same. So that to me took a little bit away from the song because it, it it felt like oh I've been down this road I've been down this road before as far as the structure is concerned yeah. not the sound not the vocals just the structure now as far as the vocals are concerned I, I I gotta say this and tell me what do you think about this I thought the video enhanced the vocals oh definitely because I felt that watching her peaceful calm but still with flowers on her head but saying you know and moving her mouth to the same words that are coming out but they're coming out with so much aggression and so much intensity it was like and then watching the other version of her of her and actually having that having the emotion behind those uh i that to me enhanced the song but it also enhanced the way the vocals because i'm looking at her and i'm like the voice does not match, match. what i'm watching and that one of these things just doesn't belong here exactly but the dynamic of that it, it enhances the aggression that the vocals have in them because if she was always like you know like aggressive with with that second personality that she has within the video to me then the vocals kind of lose a little bit of the steam yeah. because you're seeing her always being, you know, having an aggressive this dark persona. person, exactly having an aggressive persona, but putting her in As an angelic person, yeah, and she's moving her mouth so calmly. Yeah, it's almost like she's telling you off, but in a very calm way. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's like if you're speaking a foreign language, right? And I don't understand what you're saying, and you're telling somebody off, but you're telling them off with a smile and calm, and then they and then they punch you. I'm like. What the hell was that for? How rude. Like, you know, you were being so nice. But no, you were saying something mean. It's just that you were doing it in a calm way. It kind of had that feel. And that, to me, really enhanced 
the beauty of the song and really enhance her vocal performance. Do you agree? Yeah. All right. What what else do you wanna do you wanna say? What did you think of the guitar playing? <sighs> Because that's one of the things that I really like about the previous track was the guitar playing. The thing that I was a little bit off was the vocals. And I felt that in this one, both the vocals and the guitar playing, that there's nothing Absolutely amazing. like amazing. Yeah, Absolutely really, amazing. really well put together. Just fast. Well, not, not like fast, fast, but I'm talking about like angry. And, just, and, and, and they change. And they, yeah. It's, it's not like the guitar, and they did that in the previous track too. It's not like the guitar follows this 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 uh, path from A to B. Yeah. It, it goes from A to B, but in between that, it, it stops along the way multiple times. It's doing zigzags. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But, I mean, it's so groovy. It, oh, it just, uh, it goes with her vocals so well. Yeah, it does, it does. She has a great voice. She does have a great voice. I mean, the, the techno parts kind of, it threw, threw me, me off. off. It, it threw, threw you me off, off yeah. at, at the start, and then the second time it came back, I'm like, Okay, but if if it matched the sound and the structure does, of the track, it does. And if I listen to it more and more, it's not gonna catch me off anymore. I know you you like the Slavic squat squat yeah, squat. but this is the Slavic squat and 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 you're complaining about the, the the techno in here? Seriously, seriously? Come on, dude, it's not that bad. No, it it it's not that bad because it matches the dynamic of yeah. the song. It, it it's not like something that would but work on start, every track. When, when it started, and that's what came out. That's why I was a little bit. The first the first time it came out, it caught me off guard. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, what is this? And then it came back again. I'm like, okay. The second time it came around, it felt more familiar. Yeah. So it it wasn't as foreign to my ears. The first time when I heard it, it took me back. After we finished the video, I'll show you. Uh, Prodigy, Firestarters. I just want you to have that that sense of, of what I'm talking about and so you understand. So the first time it came, that's how I felt. The second time, because I already had heard it once, I was like, oh, yeah. perfect. If it's perfect. I think it's one of those things, the more you listen to the song, the more that's going to become part of, of the DNA of the track and you're just not going to be as... Uh, you, you're not gonna. You, you're not gonna be as. It's not gonna be as noticeable to you. It's yeah. gonna just become part of the sound of the song. I think it's just the first time it caught me off guard, and and for you it, it really caught you off guard. So it took you a little bit to go back into the track. Yeah. But I'm sure the guitar and her voice. It fixed everything. All right. Good to know. By the way, guys, today is a double header. There's another video coming right after this, and it's a really short video. It's perhaps gonna be the shortest. Uh, reaction review video we've ever done on the channel because the song is probably but the shortest really song that we've ever done. On the I wouldn't be surprised. You know what, dude? If that song is so short and we end up talking about it for like 20 minutes. Yeah. It's happened before. And it's going to be a fun song. It's going to be a fun song. It's a song that when we listen to it for the first time ever, we said that if there's ever a video, we're going to check it out. Yeah. So we're here to keep our promise. I promise we made to each other. All right, guys. Don't go anywhere. Keep refreshing. There's going to be another video coming out shortly. So see you guys. See ya.